African countries have been experiencing capital flight for many years, resulting in an adverse impact on many countries' ability to initiate much-needed development programs. Capital flight is a phenomenon where individuals and corporations transfer their assets from one country to another, often to avoid taxes, political instability, or economic uncertainty. According to a report by the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development UNCTAD, Africa loses about 88.6 billion US dollars in illicit capital flight every year, which is equivalent to 3.7% of the continent's gross domestic product. In this video, we provide a step-by-step -step guide for African countries to use AI to minimize capital flight to free up resources for development projects. All you need to do is subscribe to this channel, relax, enjoy and watch this video to the end to learn the steps for minimizing capital flight in Africa. According to a report by Oxford Academic, capital flight from African countries is associated with the embezzlement of national resources, including external borrowing and extractive industry revenues, and with corruption and political instability. However, external agents and institutions also contribute to capital flight from the continent. Capital flight is facilitated, in particular, by the opacity of the international banking system and, inadequate enforcement of rules on financial transparency and corporate accountability. Here are detailed step-by-step -step guidelines on how to address the problem of capital flight in Africa, along with examples of specific AI tools that can be employed at each stage. Step 1. Strengthen regulatory framework and governance. To do this, African countries should a. Enhance transparency and accountability. Implement open data platforms and AI-driven data analytics tools to monitor financial transactions and detect irregularities. An example of AI-driven financial fraud detection software that can help with this is IBM Watson Analytics for financial data analysis. b. Strengthen tax collection and enforcement. Implement AI-powered tax compliance systems to identify tax evasion and monitor corporate tax payments. An example of AI-based tax analytics software that can help with this is Oracle Tax Compliance Cloud for AI-driven tax compliance. Step 2. Improve transfer pricing regulation. To do this, African countries need to enhance transfer pricing scrutiny. They should utilize AI for analyzing transfer pricing documentation and assessing whether prices set in intra-company transactions are at arm's length. An example of AI-powered transfer pricing compliance software that can help African countries scrutinize intra-company transactions is SAP Transfer Pricing Compliance Software. Step 3. Encourage investment in technology and data analytics. African countries need to promote investment in AI and data analytics. African governments can do this by providing incentives and grants for businesses to adopt AI and data analytics technologies such as IBM Watson Analytics for financial data analysis, to help enhance transparency. Step 4. Strengthen anti-money laundering AML, measures. This can be done by implementing advanced AML technologies. Deploy AI-driven AML systems to identify and report suspicious financial activities. For example, African governments can implement AI-based AML monitoring and reporting platforms such as NICE Actimize for AI-driven anti-money laundering solutions. Step 5. Enhance cross-border collaboration. To help minimize capital flight, African countries should collaborate with international organizations such as the OECD and UN, to share best practices and information on capital flight prevention using cross-border data sharing platforms. An example of AI-driven platform that could be helpful here is Accenture Applied Intelligence, which is a suite of AI-powered tools that can help organizations maximize collaboration through secure data sharing. The World Economic Forum has also proposed cross-border data flows mechanism that is designed to harness the benefits and minimize the risks of cross-border data sharing. Step 6. Develop a Whistleblower Protection Program. African countries should create and promote AI-driven whistleblower protection programs to encourage individuals to report financial irregularities. Examples of helpful AI tools are secure and anonymous whistleblower reporting platforms. For example, 1. Transparency International has adopted the Global Leak Secure Online Reporting Platform and its case management system to enable whistleblowers to safely and securely report to advocacy and legal advice centers, Alex, in Bulgaria, France, Hungary, Latvia, and Romania and receive reliable technical, legal, and advocacy assistance. And 2. G2 is a whistleblowing software that provides employees with anonymous options to report issues related to fraud, harassment, theft, embezzlement, corruption, and so on, giving organizations the ability to uncover these workplace problems. 
It provides online or mobile platforms that enable anonymous two-way communication and tools for organizations to receive reports and investigate the claims, along with analytics tools to determine where misconduct is prevalent. Step 7. Foster Economic Cooperation African countries should promote economic diversification to reduce reliance on resource-based industries, which are often associated with capital flight. There are initiatives to help African countries in this regard. One such initiative is the African Union Artificial Intelligence Continental Strategy AACS, which aims to harness the power of AI to transform Africa's socio-economic development. The AACS provides guidelines for African countries on how best to exploit AI-based technologies for the continent's advancement. It can help African countries comprehensively develop AI-related technology products and services within various economic sectors and also model how African countries could improve data security and safeguard the technology through enabling regulatory frameworks. Step 8. Public Awareness and Education African countries should use AI-driven campaigns and chatbots to inform the public and businesses about the consequences of capital flight and the importance of compliance. An example of AI-driven platform that can help in public education is the World Bank's Open Learning Campus. The Open Learning Campus is an online platform that provides free access to courses, webinars, and other resources on a wide range of topics, including economic development, governance, and social services. The platform uses AI to personalize learning experiences and provide feedback to learners. Step 9. Strengthen and enforce legal framework. Develop and enforce legislation that imposes penalties for capital flight and tax evasion. An example of AI tool that can help strengthen and enforce legal frameworks is Ross AI for legal research and compliance analysis. Step 10. Monitor and report progress. African countries need to establish a regular reporting and evaluation mechanism to ensure compliance with capital flight laws. Use AI tools for tracking progress in reducing capital flight, analyzing data trends, and assessing the impact of policy changes. For example, African governments can use an AI tool such as Tableau for AI-driven data visualization and performance monitoring to help monitor and report progress, and initiate any punitive actions for non-compliance with anti-capital flight laws. Reducing capital flight in African countries is a critical challenge that requires a multifaceted approach, combining policy measures, regulatory reforms, and the use of advanced technologies, including AI. It is important to involve a multidisciplinary team of experts, including economists, legal professionals, data scientists, and AI specialists, to effectively implement these steps. Additionally, international collaboration and sharing of information and best practices will be crucial in addressing the complex issue of capital flight in Africa. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and to enable us continue to bring you more videos on the development of the African continent. Presented by Premier Knowledge and Promotion, LLC.